Welcome back to the Need to Know Podcast. What you need to know, when you need to know, the Need to Know Podcast. And today, welcome to another installation of We Have More Thoughts. Mm-hmm, a little yes, spin-off, sir. Yes, sir. A little spin-off team, you know? Y'all hear spin-off. those voices. Y'all hear those voices. You see the new angles? The new angles. Like, yo, are we even in the same studio? It's crazy. New couch. Reggie got the good feats on. Oh my God, stop it. Yeah, <laughs> nah. We do different episodes and you just put it on different outfits, huh? <laughs> Facts. But listen, I'm I'm a, you're accompanied by one of your hosts for today. I'm Alex I. I'm also accompanied by my beautiful co-host. Of course, you guys know the marvelous Reggie. Marvelous. <gasps> oh my god, me? See, I don't know. I yeah. didn't know if you were gonna intro me because the last mm-hmm. the our original show, the main show. Yeah. You guys ambushed me and forced me to introduce myself. Nah, so. I'm gonna treat you like a princess over here. I'm not. Now I'm gonna stop talking and introduce Pierre. Hello, Pierre. How you Yo, doing? It's good, Reg. Alex. <laughs> People, what's up? We're here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's today. It is today. And, um, I'm uh, I'm excited to see where the conversation goes. Yo, if if we say anything that's cancelable, cancelable, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just disregard it. Oh my you gosh. <laughs> that means that was good content for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly. They give us a yeah. lot of grace, I feel like. We'd be yeah. saying like some stupid shit, but they don't really like hold us to it that that much. Yeah, because they they like hearing our takes, but they also want to see us take it there sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was like right? that was that? Fine. wait, you said they like to hear us take hear our takes, mm-hmm. but they like to see us take it there. Come on now. Oh, Come on now. That's I rap a mission statement. Yeah, I miss it. I, I rap <laughs> on, you know, my off time. That's okay. Stupid. Right. Um, again, welcome to another episode of We Have More Thoughts. I'm very excited for this show, a new show under uh, Need to Know Media, where we kind of get at other topics, uh, topics that we may not have the time to get to because mm-hmm. of work restraints during the week, or our lives are just so crazy. Yeah. Uh, what I wanted to start with today, Pierre. Yo, talk to me. We walked in and you asked your wife if you were fat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this is the thing, right? <laughs> Wait, I got, I got, I got to explain it because I know there are people out there that are listening that kind of experience or have been experiencing experiencing the same thing. And those of you may know Pierre, he's our in-house videographer, creative director. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm glad you guys are now getting familiar with his voice and yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, as you get older, and um, I think scientifically they say your immune system slows down ten percent. Ten percent every seven years or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, don't quote me on that, but you know, do your googles. Um, Damn. You know, after a while, you know, I like to eat. You know, <laughs> food is good. It's nourishable. <laughs> uh, what I say last time about everybody got a specific palate and all that. Absolutely. Yes. Um, yeah. So I like to eat. I found out that I like to eat bread a lot too. So a lot of carbs. Carbs. And, yeah. And all that stuff. So I'm a science. I'm a bit of a science buff. Um, yeah. A quick fun fact about our bodies, more specifically our mouths. Um, in our saliva, yeah, tell us some shit about our mouth. <laughs> in our saliva, there's this thing called am- amylase. Okay, and, and that's actually what breaks down bread in the mouth before it, you know, goes down uh, into the stomach. But wait, it, like breaks it down in your mouth first yeah. and then sends it off. Yeah, like okay. it, it makes it more malleable. Like you ever had a got you a saltine cracker? Uh huh. Yeah, and like right when you bite into it, it like oh, dissolves. it like breaks down. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like the, okay. the warm up for the body to like do what it does. And also your body uses carbs as its main source of energy. Yeah. So I know a lot of people, you know, trying to lose weight and stuff. They yeah. cut out carbs first. Yeah. But it's like our bodies need carbs, guys. Like yeah, before sure. workouts. Yeah. It's okay. Just it, have a piece of bread. It's fine. <laughs> it took okay? me the longest to realize that you have to eat food to lose weight. No, yes. Oh my God, talk about it. Took it took me please. the longest. Yeah. No, I want to get into like, that. I don't like spewing like yeah. the opposite of that. It's like, no, like mm-hmm. when you eat less, you fuck up your metabolism, all that. Yeah. Like, no, just eat the right amount for your bodies, yeah. especially ladies. I swear it works. Yeah, yeah, but it, it sounds good. It sounds good. I know it's hard. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. You just got to execute it properly. Like, yeah. uh, thermodynamics, right? No, how, this nigga is a how, scientist. How, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> he I said mean, analyse, whatever. What is it? Bad words, I don't even know. Analyse, look it up. I, bet, yeah. I am not a science book. <laughs> <laughs> I failed like Earth Science 101 like twice. So. <laughs> that's, now, those that's, little, the little, no, that's like the easiest class you could take, yeah. No, but them bum ass rocks got a little confusing. You know exactly. The, you know the names of the types? Sedimentary. Sedimentary Ooh. rocks. Um, hmm? Igneous. Magnum. Oh, this nigga's oh, into mag- science. Oh, she said Magnum. <laughs> you, wait, wait, wait. You didn't hear what Reggie just wait, said? Wait, wait. She said Magnum? Word? That's wait, a rock. I think I was thinking about... That's a rock, all right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, but what was I thinking about? Magma? Um, ma- yeah, magma. Okay, magma. see, I wasn't that nah, far not too off, far, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Not too far off. But yeah, yeah. I, I've realized that I like um, bread a lot. And, <laughs> and it just sits in my gut. Um, it does. Not not you. I'm saying like Damn, just keep. She it. called me fat. I, just, I meant like uh, everybody. Yo, I'm out of here. Right. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Nah, but um, yeah, you know, I put on weight. It's funny because I when I think I think when I graduated college, I was yeah. probably like 150 or something like that. Mm. Wait, isn't and, that like really 
light. That's frail, yeah. I was, yeah, for like I men, was thinking swimming in 150 my for men is like, yeah, that's like light, right? Pierre's yeah. also not 6'5". Facts. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a regular 5'9". Gotcha. Five okay. ten on a good day. On a good day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm now I'm about two twelve. I teeter between two twelve and like two fifteen. Mm. I got to two twenty before. Mm. Um, and I'm still athletic to an extent, mm. but like I just don't like feeling fat and like I'm, unfit. I'm, yeah, or, uh, exactly. I don't feel like feeling unfit. Because you've been um, like an athlete your whole life, so you yeah. always want to feel fit. Yeah. yeah, and strong. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> this is the one time in my life that I really came to grips with the fact that. I'm a little bit pudgy, right? <laughs> so I'm driving. And usually when you're driving, you got your seatbelt on, right? Oh, I know what you're about. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> usually got your seatbelt on. Um, if you're practicing safety and all that. So I'm uh I'm driving, right? If you're and I go over a bump and my belly jiggled. Oh my god. Wait. That's when I was like, ah oh, no, I gotta change my did you, life. did you feel it or did you hear it? I felt it. Did, did, oh, Hearing okay. it. Well, yeah, that's what I was about to say, because when you hear like it. Like a little but, flap, like yeah, a yeah. Flap. <laughs> The fact that you asked that, you mm-hmm. might have some trauma. I had some, that, I used to be a fat <laughs> motherfucker. Don't do that. You, Same. Okay? okay. But you know what? I was bringing that up yeah, yeah. because you got a good peck to gut ratio. Okay. <laughs> like, like, if you pay attention to all the people that have this ever worked crazy. out. Like, think about the men that have worked out in their lives. Okay. Right? Okay. They work, I got a homie like this. Yeah, one in the same. Okay. They've worked out so much in their lives. <laughs> That the upper part of their body okay. has developed muscul- so much muscles <laughs> that it gives an allure. Okay. Okay. That the gut is small. So you say my body fake? Yeah, you got one of them fake bodies. <laughs> yeah. Why does it? He got one of the manipulated bodies. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Reggie, what, what, Reggie, what's your take on that? Because I know Reggie. Take on what? Reggie goes to the gym a lot. I yes. mean, I hate so. disclosing that information because it's like then I should look like extremely fit. Nah, live your <laughs> but it's nah, like you're good. Yeah. I just do. I just just want to feel like healthy. Mm-hmm. I also like eat pretty healthy. I just yeah. want to feel healthy. I don't want to like completely transform my body because I like the way I look. So yeah. I just want to stay like I like do a lot of cardio. I just want to stay in decent shape. That's why okay. I go. Yeah. So if anybody's looking at me thinking like, oh my gosh, she doesn't <laughs> look like she go to the gym. Ease up on me, okay? What's your so. favorite gym workout? Um. Oh my god, I love lower, two, lower body day. Okay. I like hip thrust because I feel like I can like low key, um, like throw some weight. Th- does like a lot okay. for like my stature, mm. and uh, I have no idea. Actually, I don't know. Okay, mm. but yeah. But okay. what you were asking, like, what's my take on what? Um, like fitness and everything like that. Um, because I've been secretly trying to get us to all do. Yeah, uh, yeah. Another episode of you guys going into the gym. Oh my god, I'm so down. Yeah, you have. Okay. Yeah, I'm down I'm with so that. Down. Okay. I think I think Pierre thinks he's gonna embarrass us, and no. he's gonna be in for a rude it's, awakening. It's good content. <laughs> but, why, but why are you laughing already? Good content. And we ain't shoot nothing. Because uh-huh. I'm interested to see how you do, and how Savon does, and I want to see. <laughs> Also, how Reggie does, and I want to. I want you guys to compete to see who's. who's but it'll never, fit. it'll yeah. never be like equal though, because Alice can not go to the gym for like five years, and yeah. I've been going like for the last every single day, and mm. he'll still be like stronger than me. You know? See, it's calisthenics, it's technically, right? It's calisthenics, but I'm a calisthenics guy. There's also a way to do it. So if you yeah. if you do just thinking out loud, if mm-hmm. you do all right. This is my body weight and this is my proportion or my yeah. size. Oh, okay. Do how much or figure out how much weight you can lift compared to your weight. Mm. So if you could do two times your weight and any specific, yeah, then like you know you're strong. But if you could do like oh, less than a half or you know anything to that nature, then like you might need to you know. See, this is why I like hanging around y'all. <laughs> this is for real. You guys are aware people. Try to. And I, I myself, which is something I want to get into. I like to stay away from unaware people. Mm-hmm. I think unaware people are the scariest people on the planet. <laughs> Yeah, Let me we will you... not progress no. with them. No, no, no. and <laughs> I don't know society. if this comes off the heels of me. You know, I work in Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Reggie, you you relate. We literally work next to each other. We just avoid each other. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is new information. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Literally, like he'll post uh, a yeah. little, like you know, um, a a Instagram story, yeah. and I'm like, that's my street. <laughs> and we have acknowledged this many times. We just like don't link up. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> you know how it is in these industries. Different yeah. lunch periods. Yeah. I'm on the 50 second floor. And I already see him every single freaking week. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm in Manhattan and I'm commuting, yeah. You just run into these people that think they're the only fucking people on the earth. Oh my gosh. That shit pisses me off, yo. Like, if you're walking and there's a busy street, mm-hmm. maybe you shouldn't just make a dead stop <laughs> yeah. in the yeah. middle of the street. Because yeah. that tells me that, A, yeah. you don't give a fuck that there are other people here, mm-hmm. which is already pissing me off. Mm-hmm. And two, you're not aware of your surroundings. 
like I don't expect for children to be aware of their surroundings. Mm-hmm. I don't expect for people who are sickly yeah. to be super aware. But for most people, I really do get a. I, I get. I don't want to hang around you. Yeah. Like it gets you tight. Like I, it, it pisses me the fuck off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. By this age, <laughs> you should know well enough that you're not the only person in the world walking in the street. Like, and there's mm-hmm. so many different. Like, or when, when you're driving. Yeah. And and you're in your this person in front of you is in their phone. Mm-hmm. And you got to wait at the light. Niggas is honking at you. <laughs> like you, but, but it's the car in front of you yeah. that hasn't moved. That's, that's acting up. It's not me. I love how I'm agreeing like I drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you got your license though. Yeah, you got your license. Don't do that. You're I driving. do. I just yeah. choose not to drive, okay? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You got a chauffeur and all that. Mm. Do you like driving though? Is it like- I don't mind driving. I just like yeah. don't have any reasons to like i yeah. i commute to the city mm-hmm. um grocery shopping like it's like right next to my house like, i don't know i just like don't have a reason to wow. so, got you i see what you're saying i see yeah. nah, i'm i'm a driver all the time i'm every you drive a do you think yeah. do, alex do you think mm-hmm. that in those scenarios if you told the person hey like it's probably not a good idea to to like stand right here because of everything else that's going on around you how do you think they'd react or what do you think they'd say that's a good question pierre and i think people would take offense to it yeah when in actuality, I, but you know what? Maybe I'm asking too much of others okay. <laughs> because I'm one of those people that do. I like to think about others. Yeah. Even if it, even if it doesn't come off that way, I swear. <laughs> I swear. No, yes, it does. I <laughs> feel like all of us on the team are very considerate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If someone's late, we're like, we get it. Like yeah. you're, you were in traffic, yeah. or if someone's just feeling a little off that day, we always, we get it. Like we're right. considerate. We make allowances for each other. Yeah, but I just feel like after a certain age, you have to hold your own self accountable in, in terms of how where you are as a as a human mm-hmm. being. That's a hard thing. As an adult. Yeah, I don't mind. Right? Honestly, okay, you guys know me by now. I feel like I'm nice to like. Everybody, if I, even if I don't know them or whatever, yeah. But I kind of have like my tolerance is getting lower for like unpleasant people, and you guys <laughs> know because I trust you guys now. So the way I be talking shit in the group chat, <laughs> I let it all. Yeah. I just I'm just very honest with you guys, like who, who I don't like, whatever. Yeah. But um, I can tolerate people, like even quote unquote unpleasant people, as mm-hmm. long as they are self aware. Mm-hmm. Like if someone says something like really toxic or just problematic, yeah. as long as they acknowledge, like, hey, I'm like. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. Like I'm, I'm, but they're self-aware. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. It's fine. Like That's I, fine. I'll, as long as they are self-aware, yeah. it's like, hey, all of us aren't perfect. But right. if they're not self-aware, that's when I'm like, I can't stand this person. Yeah. Like yeah. I can't. Like and, and and being that unaware can put you in some very dangerous, a- absolutely scenarios. A- absolutely. Oh absolutely. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. and I think I think too. Sometimes people will justify not being aware as like, hey, this is just this is just me. This is my vibe. Oh, that's just a, how I am. Just how I am. As an excuse to like, yeah. okay, when like, yo, oh my god, it's that's okay me. to you, you for someone to for someone to tell you like, look, what you're doing is not okay. You know what I mean? You're triggering me right but, now. You you really triggering me. Please stop. <laughs> Apparently, people got issues with that. So yeah, but it, it does come back to just not wanting to grow. Yeah. And once again, I don't want to be around you, people. Yeah, yeah. Get get far away from me if you feel like <laughs> being aware is a task. Yeah. Like understand your surroundings. Yeah, and I think it's also not wanting to grow and not mm. knowing how to grow or how to transition mm. between like different periods because like people's upbringing. And... <sighs> Pia, you led us right down the path I wanted to go today. Okay. And it starts with Andre Three Thousand. Uh, those of you might know already. Andre Three Thousand is releasing an album entitled new blue sun right yeah mm-hmm. new blue sun and um he had some thoughts mind you you guys have known this is the first solo andre 2000 project since 2006 mm-hmm. that is crazy crazy when you think about it right yeah so a lot of people were anticipating you know fire a f- <laughs> some bars yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. i mean but he told Words. people beforehand hey don't yeah. expect that yeah he told people which is a good point and i kind of wanted to play a clip from um he did an interview you know who he did an interview with, uh, Reggie? You know who he sat down with? I'll check in a second. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those. I saw the interview, but I don't know who. Who, right? He sat down with an outlet. I don't like people think, oh, man, he's just sitting sitting on raps or, like, he's just holding or holding these raps hostage. Like, I ain't got no raps like that. Like, it's, it's it actually feels, sometimes it feels inauthentic for me to rap because I, I don't have anything to talk about in that way. Like, I'm 48 years old, and not not to say that age is a thing that dictates what you rap about but in a in a way it does and like things that happen in my life like what do you talk like i gotta go get a, a colonoscopy like what do you <laughs> yeah. what, like what do you rap about you know what i mean like my rap. eyesight my eyesight is going bad like but you're not you're not just any rapper like you're a, a top five top you know to many people 
to me, it's like you're basically being like, I have a very beautiful sports car in the garage, but I choose never to, to drive it, you know, which is which is your talent. Talent is one thing, but honestly, it's I think timing and momentum is more important than talent and the energy of it like talent it's a lot of people with talent and we're seeing that now like there's so many dope people on the internet like that are just raw but it's your timing is what you're talking about is if you're catching the zeitgeist of what's happening in the, in the world and like my goal is i want to connect interesting oh my god so much to say yeah honestly andre 3000 says he wants to connect <laughs> <laughs> but ain't put no words on the album <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, no. No. I don't like this. Reggie, I don't like this tape. Reggie, please put on your cape for three K today. Because oh. like he okay. <laughs> Why does he have to do what you guys expected him to do mm -hmm. for him to connect? Like he told Very good you question, guys. Reggie. Like days before, like way before the album was coming out, mm -hmm. he announced the album. He's like, "Hey, by the way, I don't want to rap anymore. This is what makes me happy." Yeah, he's been walking around the whole globe just playing his flute. Like this is what makes him happy. Like, <laughs> and we've seen him play. But the people flute are like, too. "No, freaking rap!" Because like we want to, <laughs> like because that's what we were introduced sure. to him as. So yeah. of course, like their expectations. That's fair. Like whatever. He's a rapper, mm -hmm. but it's like. He told you guys, like, hey, I want to make a beautiful instrumental album. This is what I want to do at this age. Mm -hmm. Boom, here it is. And that's what he wants to he wants to connect with like-minded people in that. Yeah. Why are we making fun of him right now, guys? All right. So <laughs> put it on YouTube or something. Like... <laughs> now, I was, and I'm glad, I'm glad you said that, mm -hmm. right? For me, um, Reggie, it stemmed in, a, in something way deeper. It sounds as if Andre 3000, mind you, I've come on this podcast over the last few years and put my 3K cape on. Yeah. Y'all know it. Right. I've gone head to head with Save On in that he's shit. He's one of the best. He's, yeah. And I don't give a fuck that he doesn't have a ton of albums. <laughs> yeah. He's up there for me. Yeah. Reggie, to answer your question, his reasoning for why he didn't do it is what's bothering me because it, sound, oh, yeah. it sounds like it's based in imposter syndrome. Oh, it's like, yeah. you guys wouldn't want to hear me anyway. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, okay. I, I, right? okay yeah, like, that's why I was like, there's so yeah. much to say about this. Because yeah. I am split. To your point, Reggie, I enjoy music outside of hip-hop and rap. Yeah. I, I enjoy Same. a plethora. We all here yeah. enjoy a plethora of genres, yeah. right? So I am split because I did hear it in... That shit gonna go double platinum in the spa. Uh, that shit's gonna go in the spa. It's, it's gonna go. Or some people are like out there in the woods, like tripping or something. Tripping like, or some shit. That yeah. shit's gonna go off. It's gonna go crazy yeah. for me. It sounds like Andre 2000, someone who everybody heralds mm -hmm. as a top 10, 20, 15 top lyricist and MC, yeah. is struggling with imposter syndrome. Yeah. Okay, good point. And, and it's so point. crazy that he yeah. used the word momentum. Right. Because, bro, you are who you are. So how, how does your momentum ever really stop? It's dictated by you, right? Yeah. I've uh... seen Jeezy release an album this year yeah. where he's found a way to talk about his adult life this stage in his life his yeah. stage in his life what things have transpired yeah. Danny Brown who's in his 40s for those of you who are uh, into the eclectic type of raps he's been yeah. consistent yeah. he's been consistently doing this yeah. right so even, even Nas a little bit even Nas yeah. is doing it right and because we, we know he's been walking around with a flute <laughs> mm -hmm. I would just assume for you to be in a place to to talk about whatever you got going. <laughs> yeah. For him to say that he don't got nothing to talk about and we ain't heard a solo album from him since 2006. Nuts. Nigga. Ooh, that's a good point. That's like, right? that's like, all right, I, I get trying to do different. Yeah. But that's all the way left for me. Like, all like, the way. To not say anything. <laughs> Like, bro, oh, maybe what? he doesn't want to say. I don't know because yeah. I'm split because I agree with the him his comment of like, what am I gonna rap about? My eyesight getting a colonoscopy. It's like, no, you can be an older rapper and speak about real shit. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also like he did directly tell us in the beginning. He's like, I don't really have much to say. Like, I don't really want to rap like that. Like is he it, told us, like, hey, I don't want to like do is, this right now. Is that right. lazy though? Is that lazy? I don't know because it's like, who is it lazy to? Like, why does he have to drop the rapidy album you know like why does he have to do that and why is that lazy if he doesn't so sell those instrumentals to an artist or something. <laughs> like, hey, yeah, fuck out of you know what i mean Am I want, no, no, i get your point like, but it's like he wanted to put this album out like he wanted to do yeah. it and i'm happy that he actually wanted to put something out though <laughs> yeah. right like i want and maybe this starts something but 
Come on, yo. Did y'all see the track list? <laughs> did y'all? Did y'all? Did yeah, y'all, the first name of the song is like, I want to make a rap album. I swear to God, I'm sorry. Like, you, yeah, did you read some of this shit? Bro, right, no, look. Pierre's going to laugh. Right, no. I'm going to read all of this mad quick, and y'all let me know if it sounds like some Andre 3K bars. And, and that interview was from GQ. It was, from, it was okay. a GQ interview. GQ Thank you, Pierre. I appreciate it. Um, This is track one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why are you laughing? <laughs> why are you? I, like, I feel like full sentences as track names. <laughs> I feel like he's being silly, like and just unserious. And but I like country. it though. All right, peep this. I'm gonna read y'all all the track names from one through eight. Y'all ready? Boy, <laughs> I swear I really wanted to make a rap album, but I, I don't. I can't even read the rest of that shit. The slang word "pussy" rolls off the the tongue. <laughs> Stop! Yeah, you have to wait for it to like scroll. Like. <laughs> you gotta wait for it to scroll. I can't even see the whole fucking title. Yo, it's probably online somewhere. Yo, Yo, bro, this is nuts. The night in Hawaii when I turned into a panther. <laughs> this come don't on, sound. This, come on, this is amazing. This Stop. don't sound like he rapping though. No, this, right. no, I'm, no, I'm caving for it. This is nah, amazing. This is Congratulations, this is Andre. Different. This is right. different. This is funny. This, like this is too, for me. It's too far left. You want no, no words? Yo, and and, and sentences. As your track title, that's about, crazy. I'm about bro. to play some for you, all right? Oh my god, stop. Right. And apparently, one and two are fire. Look, y'all can hear this, right? Sorry. All right, good. Listen, <laughs> I'm about to narrate this for y'all. Y'all ready? <clears throat> the Chilean rattlesnake <laughs> is over 250 feet long. <laughs> its, mo- its first known predator is the bulldog. <laughs> This don't sound like the Nat Geo. This don't sound like the, the History Channel. Cool Here we go. <laughs> Tarantulas are found in over 359 countries. Wow. With an ancestor of another spider. This don't sound Fact. like that shit. The human body <laughs> burns on average 2,000 calories per day. When, yeah, it's like some background music. My when, dog made a Nat Geo album and turned into a panther. Yo, bro, I'm crying. Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, nothing my, wrong with that. Nothing, super nothing wrong with that. Right? Sell I like it, it. Sell it to Nat Geo. <laughs> like. Maybe he will. It will be. I feel. I could picture this being successful in like that yeah. realm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So he's playing chestnut checkers. Right. I, I'm. I am though a little concerned for him. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> and not because because wait, hold on. Wait. Did you? What if he doesn't? He he thinks like if he dropped a rap album, mm-hmm. he didn't think it would be that good. Not mm-hmm. just because of imposter syndrome, but maybe he really thinks he doesn't got it like that anymore. And what if that did poorly? So he'd rather drop this flute stuff. Good, good, good point, Reggie. Just so people yeah. can't really have like a consensus Reggie, opinion on it. Uh, on it. Do you feel like the large majority of people would condemn a new rap album from Andre D Thousand? If it was bad, they would. Would you? Make fun of it. You think so? Reg, I think they would have just glide. So, so boom. If, if I was Andre. And just right? been appreciative that they got an album. Yeah. What's if up, I was Andre, I love this, right? If yeah. I was Andre and I haven't put out a project and I want to yeah. put out a full length album, mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Mm-hmm. And then have my whole team come together, you know, a few people that I trust. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's have a listening session. Mm-hmm. You guys give me your honest and raw opinions of this. If it's trash. Right. right. We'll scratch it, like, and let me know what to do better. But like, yeah. to just put out an instrumental mm-hmm. or instrumentals as a as a full album, I don't know if I really like that. Come mm-hmm. coming from him, and but but see, I I respect it a little bit because he's actually playing the instruments, right? Yeah. So <laughs> so it's not just something like whatever, yeah, guys. Like, yeah, I'll salute that. To me, the reason why I say I'm a little concerned for him because if you are entering imposter syndrome in your latter forties, yeah. We 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 might have maybe maybe your like hiatus did more bad than good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like you really forgot right? you're him. You really like, forgot you was okay, him. I right? get your point. Yeah. Right. Usually imposter syndrome works a little bit in reverse, right? Yeah. You might be a little bit younger. Yeah. You're trying to do certain things in your industry and in your field, right? Mm-hmm. So, yes, people might hold you to this level, and internally you still might feel like you're not that. At 48 years old. People still put you in their top five, yeah. top ten. Like you're really him. Yeah. And we only really have collaborative albums with you from Outcast. Yeah. Where the fuck is this imposter syndrome coming from? Maybe that's what the hiatus did. I don't know. Is it imposter syndrome mm-hmm. if he's just simply like not inspired to rap anymore? Like this is really just where his life took him. Good. I would I would say that if he didn't say like if you didn't joke about when I'm supposed to rap, oh, dog, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. call it Nas. <laughs> okay. When you got he's ca- just making excuses like. No, see, I'm, I shouldn't rap. See, you guys? Yeah, because okay, okay, okay. it sounds as if he's more concerned about how we would receive it. Yeah, as opposed to, like, 
I've never known Andre 3000 to be more concerned about yeah. how we receive things. Yeah. Listen, it sounds like when you got cats like Lloyd Banks still figuring out ways to put out uh, music that their supporters appreciate, love, and it's still high quality. I don't know how we can sit on. Like, imagine if, mm-hmm. imagine if Drake had the same mindset with ageism. Okay. As as um as Andre two thousand. Yeah. We wouldn't get all of this new music like y'all done bully Drake back into the studio. <laughs> Facts. Bullying came- works. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. You heard it there first. He came back with Alchemist beats yeah. and Conductor William beats. Facts. Those are like boom bap types of style, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And granted, bullying did work a little bit, <laughs> right? But I salute a Drake who feels like, yo, dog, maybe what y'all saying affects me a little bit, but me knowing I'm him, I'm gonna use that confidence as the um as the car to get me to where everybody for the car to get everybody to listen to what they want to hear from me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So for instance, right? Everyone is very excited by his new song. I mean his new uh what was it, six pack, the scary hours. Yeah, mm-hmm. Scary hours. Yeah. Uh yeah. deluxe Basically edition. Like a deluxe edition, like yeah. a deluxe edition right? Mm-hmm. And he focused on really just getting to the raps this time. Yeah. Right? And he's not letting his age, mind you, though, which is, this is like kind of ironic, right? Mm-hmm. Because his original project, for the original For All the Dogs, a lot of people thought that he was just really trying to speak for the youth, yeah. right? Imagine if Drake had the same mentality as 3K and just didn't put anything out at all and just didn't attempt to put out music. Okay. Yeah, so I see what, what, else, what else would he do? That is my. Point. He would just like not put out music. He would just not put out music. But we've seen we've seen artists transition into other things other than mu- we've seen musical artists transition to other th- to things other than their art. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, we've seen artists evolve, even like in the in the sports space. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the fact that uh, Marshawn Lynch does all the extra stuff. He's got his production company. Yeah. He's on different commercials. He uh, he got a blender mm-hmm. that he's been promoing. He does stuff with Bear Grylls. I love that. Like, yeah. let me see you outside of your element if you're not going to continue to do the same thing that you're doing. Let alone put out instrumentals yeah. as an album yeah. with sentences as the as the titles for the. <laughs> hey, it's what tracks. he wanted to do, Pierre. Right? Yeah, Pierre, mad but at like, that because I'm not mad at what he Pierre's wants like, to do. He's like, fuck this album. Cause, 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 <laughs> cause even, I'm glad we're talking about Drake because when Drake put out, honestly, never mind. Mm. It was classified as a dance album. It was different from what we were used to Drake doing, mm-hmm. but it was still like cool. And, and the overarching fact, it still had words, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like right. I see. I, I see. I'm the, bugging. No, you're not. But I see the arc. I see the arc you're taking. Yeah. In, in terms of um comparing Drake and Andre 2000, I I, I hope we're really grateful this is if y'all don't know yet you know i've called him the drake right i mean the lebron of the shit yeah. that's that's a jabron <laughs> Jab- it is I'll just side note i know yeah. no one cares about this yeah. but i wish alex and my boyfriend john knew how alike they were you literally say the same exact <laughs> the same, like, my, the same exact dog. word he's like guys i hope we're just grateful that drake even did. <laughs> like you guys say the same thing that's my dog. Oh, my that's God. you guys are so like that's my guy right anyway sorry, sorry because sorry. no he's a real one because i don't think me and your boyfriend are probably realizing I don't think we're really understanding what's being done. Yeah. We assume for Drake to be taking a leave from music, right? Yeah. After his last album, he put out a little statement, hey, man, my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> remember? That's what he said, yes. Remember, nah, remember, yeah. remember like, gut, my gut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, you Pierre? Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, bro, Full circle me moment. and Drake can relate. We got yeah. that little... Yeah, that oh, little, my gosh. <laughs> and he's done so much throughout his career, and especially throughout this year, right? We got um, Her Loss, which is now Grammy nominated. Yep. We I'm got honestly never mind. mind. We got for all the dogs, and then we got a response for, to all the dogs, <laughs> yeah. with beats that are more like boom bap and rapish, yeah. right? So, yeah. I really do hope we're applauding what's being done. I I see a lot of people like, oh, why didn't he take a break? Why didn't he do that? How do you guys feel about this? Um, I love the fact that, all right. <clears throat> so, if if I if I'm in a field, right, and I I know I operate well in the field, yeah, and then you know. Like Drake did, he went and did you know a few things differently, just to like test the waters and probably get into different markets, right? And then I still am continuing to do some to do different things, and what I'm putting out isn't received how I would like it to. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go take a break like Drake did. Mm-hmm. And then in the midst of that, people are saying like, "Yo, you fell off. 
and there's a lot of different critiques to my music, I'm not taking a break. I'm <laughs> going to come back and mm. I'm going to show you, like, mm. yo, I really do this. Mm. That, yeah, that's think, exactly what he did. I think that's yeah. what he did. Mm. Mm. So I like the fact that he ain't really going to break. Did you guys see that people were like, Oh, Joe Budden was right all along, and he's like, "Sorry, Joe Budden, that you had to be like the sacrificial lamb." <laughs> yeah, Basically, because yeah, people came at Joe. Well, a lot of people agree with him, but people came at him right. just for Drake to go like spin Dude, around and do yeah, what yeah. And, and he Joe, asked. And Joe said, ver, uh, "I want to say verbatim, but he said <clears throat> how he says stuff isn't really wrong. Oh, when he says stuff is not really wrong. It's how he says it, mm-hmm. and people wind up doing eventually doing." What it is that they hated me for? Yeah. Hated me for for saying. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you know, Joe was talking about how um, Drake wasn't really rapping, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. on his raps, he was getting his back kicked in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now, you know, he co- actually comes out and he's rapping. Drake coming mm-hmm. back made me respect him more. Yeah. And you know, to my three K point, that's kind of what I want an Andre three thousand to do, right? Whereas, like, Reggie is so right, and like, I hate... show us. Yeah, like, yeah. Reggie is so right, though. You could put out whatever you want. And I usually <laughs> do die on that hill. You do. I usually die on that You're hill. You're very big yeah. on just letting people be them. Yeah. yeah. But... But I see your point. When I start hearing that you you won't rap about colonoscopies <laughs> and, yeah. and, 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 oh, what niggas don't want to hear from me. Yeah. We ain't heard from you since 06. Mm-hmm. No, show me something now. Yeah. Now you got to show me something. Yeah. And it and, makes, no, go ahead. No, if you, if you just was quiet this entire time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you had no plights about it, you just shaking and moving, I wouldn't give a fuck. And it's not yeah. like his whole sabbatical, let's call it. Right. It's not like he was cryogenically frozen. <laughs> and like not experiencing life, never doing right. anything. Like I'm pretty sure you had Yo, some food that was fire. Like you probably, I'm pretty sure that. you traveled. I think Andre 2000 could put a whole album out with how he roamed the streets and, <laughs> and ran, still be fire. And ran into people with yeah, his flute, yeah, yeah. and it would still freaking be fire. Yeah, take, yeah he'll just make it fly. Of, yeah, yeah, and just off a of pedigree alone, yeah, I'd still listen to it. But this, bro. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. But nah, listen, I, I played it though, the Andre 2000 album. <laughs> Um, I got a question for y'all. Go ahead, shoot. So, Reggie. Yes. If you were an artist, would you want to be featured on this? On the flute shit? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, there's no words, so what am I What am I going to do, though? Mm. Like, I don't want to be the only one just to be on there. Play the drum. Just for the sake of... Oh, if I, if I, if I, <laughs> no, if I was... If I was, like, a talented drum player, yeah. I would love to be featured on this. Why not? Okay. Alex, <laughs> would you want to feature on this? Be uh, featured on this? Why, would you be ashamed, Pierre? I might... Yeah. You know, I pro- oh my god, it's not that bad, please. <laughs> you know, I produce. I might, I might throw a little synth on it. <laughs> That's fire. Little, That's yeah. pad. You like a little pad? I might nice throw a pad. horn, yeah. a horn too. It's a lot yeah. of horns. And get your yeah. credit, yeah. A yeah. lot of horns. And, and let me, let me say this. You know how to play that flute, yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, because you know some niggas yeah. that just show up with their little instrument, yeah. but like it don't, don't hit. Nothing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you keep carrying the instrument around, but you're not getting better. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't. You're I just learned, doing it just to do it. I yeah, learned how to yeah. play the flute in uh, elementary school. Word? Yeah. You know how I, broke I was? We only had recorders. <laughs> did that too. Oh, I shit. think I think recorders were a prerequisite. Reggie, did you? Um, it was a prerequisite. Play I, I played flute in band for like three years. Yeah. Oh but shit! But I forgot everything. Damn, I'm learning everything about you. They yeah. say if you could if you could take a bottle mm-hmm. and blow across the top and it makes the mm-hmm. sound, then you can play the flute. Percussion instruments, right? <laughs> no, nah, that's, that's, that's a wind instrument. Wind instrument, I'm sorry. So I'm it's sorry. wind, percussion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I put it together. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but to the Drake, uh, like the deluxe edition, yeah. I don't take this a wrong way, but I wasn't like super blown away for, for a good reason. Because mm-hmm. like, I was one of the people that when For All The Dogs first dropped, mm-hmm. I thought everyone's critiques, I said this on the pod, I was like, everyone's being so dramatic. Like, mm-hmm. Drake can mm-hmm. still rap, guys. Like, please just like, stop, stop just it. dragging it. Like, he could still rap, he's still him. And so when he dropped these six additional songs, I'm like, see, like, this right. is, he could rap. Like, why is everyone so surprised? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. how I took it. I was like, these, this is fire, this is the Drake we love. Mm-hmm. So if y'all stop being dramatic, like, you would you wouldn't be that surprised by this. Like, you would just be like, oh, these are like Drake's, this is when he's in his bag. Yeah. Yes. And, and yeah. it's, it sounded like one of the Drake's biggest beef with everybody that was critiquing it mm-hmm. is that they didn't take, in his in his opinion, they didn't mm-hmm. take enough time to really appreciate the project. Because a lot of people mm-hmm. say Drake's albums, they appreciate in time. Yeah. They, they age well. They, they age well. well. Yeah. They really do. I so. will say this as well. Um, with the addition of those six new songs, I heard a lot of people mention that it sounds like a lot of the older Drake stuff. Fire, and I agree. It, yeah, it yeah. sounded like Drake that still had the Sprite commercials. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, like that era. Like that yeah. era. Remember yeah. that era with like those 2010s? types of... Yeah, those yeah, types yeah. of like darker beats and the beat is on loop yeah. and he's just getting his rap shit off. Yeah. I would say this though. 
with the inclusion of those six songs, I think it's really hard not to have it up there as one of the top albums from this year. I feel like Ooh, he should have. Yeah. Well, top, top hip-hop albums. Top hip-hop yeah, yeah, albums. Yeah. I think it's hard because now you essentially hit the entire youth who was already appeased by it. Well, most most of them, right? Yeah. And now I, don't, I've, I've, I didn't see any complaints on the new six songs. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Red Button. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm listening, my, I'm listening to you. my brother. Mm -hmm. um, the Shoe Fits, Wick Man, mm -hmm. Evil Ways with J. Cole. That's probably my favorite. That's what I wanted to talk about and briefly. Then, um, you Broke My Heart as the sixth one. Where he was just getting his plights off on some women. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I think it's funny how we bullied him into <laughs> getting the J. Cole song from him that we wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Right, like yeah. the back and forth. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this one goes number one again. We'll see soon. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. don't really think so. You don't think so. it has that same I think flair? it's amazing, but I don't think it's going to go number one. Because they're all one. starred. All six tracks are starred on uh, Apple Music. On Apple Music. Yeah. And the, the, new, the, new, uh, ver the new songs on there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new, uh, the new ones. Got you. Got um, you. I, and part of me kind of wish he sprinkled this into mm -hmm. um, For All The Dogs. Mm -hmm. um, but and, uh, upon the first listener, when I saw the album um, on, on uh, Apple Music, I was kind of like, wait, are, were these Lucy's or ones that just didn't make the cut? Yeah. But when I heard, I think it was Red Button. Mm -hmm. um, he said he recorded in five days. Yeah, mm -hmm. five days. And and he put a bar on there um, in, re in reference to Joe mm -hmm. and how um, I think um, it was saying something about how like you, you're letting um, people who you're letting people who weren't successful. As successful um, as him, speak on, or speak, speak on, on his success. Speak on his success. Yeah, it was some and, along and the lines of music. Right. Like imagine, yeah. imagine us. Uh, appreciating the critique from a retired musician. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Something yeah, along those lines. Yeah, I think it was Red, uh, red Button. I, I, love, I love all of this. Yeah. Um, I love it because he doesn't need to do any of this. Yeah. He continues to shoot at Pusha T. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, Pusha really... Sp he, he touched some... <laughs> nah, he touched a soft place <laughs> on Drake's heart. He's still shooting at Pusha. He's yeah. still shooting at Kanye. Yeah. He's shooting at Joe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, back to a point I made several weeks ago... I just, I just hope it brings the boogeyman Kendrick Lamar out just somewhere. I know he, I know he hasn't publicly shot mm -hmm. at him, but yo, Kendrick, this is what you do in terms of like the rapidity rap shit. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to come somewhere in this, in this mix, man. And I don't especially know. because Drake and J Cole are besties now. Like they're yes. like they're off doing their yeah. thing. So like the the Beautiful last feeling. piece mm -hmm. of the you know the three headed goat yes. is Kendrick. I if he came out and did something, oh my god, that would just be such a gift for like just the hip hop community. Imagine yes. how much we're gonna love that. Yes, like, I think that'd be I, crazy. I think I think Kendrick needs to be the villain now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I would so. love that. That'd be fire. That'd be amazing. That'd be a good way to just end this season. Yeah. You oh my know? god, good yeah. little season finale. Good little season finale. <laughs> oh, that'd yeah. be amazing. Yeah, yeah. but um, I, l listen, leave in the comments if you feel like. Andre 2000 has imposter syndrome. Um, your you thoughts a good, on like, argument, yeah. though. Yeah. Like, right. So, yeah, I agree with you. Right. And I do want to know, hear what people say. I just never heard Andre 2000 sound like that. I, I never heard anything like that. <laughs> yeah, yo, yeah, calm down. <laughs> what, what, yo, watch your talking about The only one it was on the History Channel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you want me to go back into... Or Elevated Music. Oh, you want me to, you want me to give you one, another... One more for the streets. You want more for the streets? One more. Oh, okay, I got you. <clears throat> this could be a depression. Practicing equanimity. <laughs> okay. The giraffe. <laughs> the giraffe grazes as its prey watches from afar. It then indicates and lets its child know that we must move. Over the water they go. As, as cantaloupes cross. Forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do, I do appreciate the album. So no smoke from my end, and I want to see how people uh, sample it. I think this is gonna be sampled into the ground. Yo, I can't wait to see what producers do with it. Shit, I might mm -hmm. take my try. It something I wanted to end on real quick. I heard, I seen that he kind of got with Epic, Epic uh, Records to to put this release out. Uh, okay, which was just interesting to me, just in terms of business. Okay. Right, what, like when I thought about like, oh, it's gonna be an instrumental album, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, people are just gonna pull it and sample it. Yeah. Then when you get some business behind, it's a little harder yeah, to, do, to so. do some of those things. So maybe that's the reason why mm -hmm. he got behind them. I I just thought he would just do everything by himself. Regardless, mm -hmm. let us know what you think in the comments. Another thing I wanted to talk about that Pierre has been urgent for us to yeah, speak man. about. Yeah. Yeah, man. Lake Lanier. Mm -hmm. Lake Lanier. Um, Lake Lanier. Synonymously known for. Uh, <laughs> A lot of weird ish happening. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. 
And yeah, I think, <clears throat> you know, yeah. for me personally, um, this is kind of diving into the whole like um, race, not race wars, but like um, just like the plight of black people in America. I, I had no idea there was a connection here I mean, with Lake Lanier, I mean, right? Yeah. Can I provide some background for sure. to Pierre? Absolutely. Absolutely. I want you to remember everything you're saying, but mm -hmm. Pierre, you've been mentioning it so much that I had to go do my own research on it because okay. I'm like, you know, for those of you that don't know, a lot of people have passed away yeah. while visiting Lake Lanier in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And it just continues to happen yeah. over and over again and, and for years now. Yeah. And what is it like the same way, like drownings and stuff like uh, that? It's usually yeah. a drowning. Damn. And right. I think I think since nineteen fifty seven, I think. It's yes. been like six hundred drownings. Oh my god. That's not what crazy. Okay. Let me let me read you a few. Uh, uh da -da 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 -da. On August 3rd, the body of a 27-year-old man was found in George's Lake Lanier. Days earlier, he had disappeared dr and drowned while swimming. Yeah. The week before, another man drowned in the lake. Yeah. And a few days before that, on July 27th, a 24-year-old jumped into the lake where he was electrocuted and later died. Yeah. Uh, for folks who are familiar with Lake Lanier or Georgia Landmark, these tragic deaths aren't surprising. Over the years, hundreds of people have died there. Mm -hmm making Lake Lanier one of the deadliest lakes in the United States. Yeah. And then like when you're when you look at <clears throat> like news reportings from the town. Yeah. Um the, I think the sheriff of the town um or an, an official from the town mentioned that, you know, <clears throat> in that area of North Georgia, I believe it is. Yeah. During the summer months it gets really hot, people get dehydrated, they go into the water, they swim and all that stuff. And like I could see that. Mm -hmm. But 600 deaths. <laughs> yeah. Since nineteen, since the late fifties, is nuts, bro. Like no, that's yeah, not that's just like, coincidence. You no, know, yeah, yeah, something's happening. Yeah. Like, and when I first, Alex, Alex, is there anything else you wanted to say before I go in? Mm -hmm. Oh no, all I was gonna say is it take one motherfucker to die <laughs> to get me not to go there exactly. no more. That's the problem with everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all don't listen to people. I learn from experience. Y'all yeah. motherfuckers want to learn from... No, no, no. Fuck no, our experience. No, no. no, no. no I yeah, learn yeah. from word through, of mouth. Through osmosis. Through osmosis. Right. Just tell me some shit. I believe you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you. So when I heard that, um, I was like, wow, that's actually very interesting. And I think it's it's deserve, a deep dive is deserved. Absolutely. So um, I did a deep dive on it. And boy, did I uncover a lot of stuff. What'd you find out, man? And before I say what I encountered... Um, or what I uncovered, I will say, you know, since 2020, um, since the whole George Floyd, even before George Floyd, you know, there was Breonna Taylor, there was yeah. uh, Philando Castile, there's, you know, a bunch of um, murders, yeah. right? Yeah, in the black community. In the black community that yeah. has taken place, um, you know, in the hands of law enforcement. Yeah. Um, but since 2020 happened, since George Floyd happened, I will say that, you know, I've uh, kind of done more research on like the different things that, you know, people that we celebrate in America nowadays. Right. Um, you know, just briefly going over, you know, uh, Columbus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't find he didn't find America. Yeah, we don't even celebrate <laughs> the holiday no more. We really don't. <laughs> like there were people already here. Yeah, Columbus. You're Every lying Indigenous ass. People's Day, guys. Indigenous People Day. Uh, and and the uh, uh, not Eastern uh, Western Indians. Yes. Um, Native Americans. Yes. Um, Native were already Americans. here. Um, you have people already in the Caribbean. So people were all over the place. And, you know, they also do say that in history, the conqueror writes, writes history. Yeah. So, of course, yeah. you're going to big yourself up, you know, um, and, and say, hey, I founded land and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, you know, I've uncovered a lot of stuff uh, through my research, you know, stuff that, unfortunately, I wasn't really privy to in my school days. Yeah. Um, like in high school, you know, no one was really talking about this. Uh, in college, nonetheless, people weren't talking about it. But all that to say, I found out that um, Lake Lanier uh, was previously known as Oscarville. And what Oscarville consisted of was a budding um, town filled with black people, about mm. 1,100 black people. This is in the 1800s, right? Uh, yes, 1800. Yeah, so every, everything happened 1912. Got you. But it was formed during the late 1800s. Yeah, got formed you. during the late 1800s. Yes, yes. Um, and it was flooded in 1957. Um, everything that happened before 1957 is like kind of what I want to focus on. Mm. Um, but yeah, like uh, the town settlers were uh, residents from the Civil War. And uh, again, they were all black. And, you know, land in those days were a hot commodity. Absolutely. And still um, is. Still is. Yeah. Especially um, back then. Especially yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but... You know, they, they were in the town at the time where 
Um, you know, there was a lot of famine happening around the state. The state. Got you. But they were bigger and they were known more for farming. Um, but agriculture. The whole town was bustling. It, it's actually very reminiscent of Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I was Tulsa, literally bro. just googling that right now. That's yeah. why I was on my phone. I was like, this sounds really similar to yeah. that. So. Yeah. And yeah. like there were uh, a, a plethora of Black people thriving Thrive. in a certain area. And yeah. also, didn't that happen in Central Park? Yep, Central Sen- Park, Seneca. Village, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then it was just black people yeah. thriving, and yeah. then yeah, we history buffs. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we history buffs. And, and I think um, and I'm glad you brought, you brought that out, Reggie. I think Central Park was bought. Um, I think, I think the people in Central Park at the time um, sold it for like a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Wow. Oh big God. money at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just some stuff I found out about Oscarville, um, and I'll kind of read it to you again. This is just a brief overview. Yeah. Um, I will say, if you guys YouTube it, do not watch the History Channel version of it because they not the Nat Geo version. Not, not the. Not, I just realized not, you're wearing a Nat Geo shirt. Oh my and, god! And, and this episode it's, is full circle. It's, hey, <laughs> it's a play on shirts. Wow! <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> fire. Fire. We didn't plan that. We yeah. even planned that shit. Um, but yeah, do not watch the. Uh, well, me saying do not watch it. Watch yeah. it people are gonna watch it. But yeah. the reason why I'm saying don't watch that version of it is because they don't give the full story. Or the true story, I should mm-hmm. say. That's enough of a reason for people not to watch it. Yeah. Um, but, again, uh, it reminds me of Black Wall Street. Uh, and so, in 1912, Ellen Grice um, said that two black men raped her. Um, and um, from what I've been learning, they said that um, the reason why it didn't go on, on any further is because her mom kind of, like, shooed them away or scared them to run, to flee. Mm-hmm. Um Again, this is all alleged mm. at the time, um, and they, the sheriffs at the time, took the two black youths and brought them to jail. Next thing you know, um, they also arrested five more black men, black uh, black ki- black kids. Um, so the town pastor at the time went to the sheriff and said, "Hey, like, how can we like resolve this, or like, what can we do?" But, because again, it's all alleged, and and remind remember, I said the town was thriving yeah. full of black people in a time where there was famine yeah so if i if 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 i'm a night rider they called them night riders were the um kind of similar to the kkk um if if i know that and um i'm in a, i'm around the town at the time where famine is happening and i'm seeing you know them flourish oscarville yeah. then yeah. you i could see how some type of resentment was absolutely was uh, was brought about but basically Long story short, the pastor went to talk to the chief. Um, the the chief, the the pastor was like, "Hey, um, the pastor's name is actually Grant Grand Smith." Um, and the pastor alluded to the chief that, "Hey, you know, I think the white lady had relations with one of the black men." Now the town caught wind of it. Everybody was up in up in uh, up in an uproar, up in um, arms and shit, up in arms and stuff like that. Yeah. And they actually horse whipped and almost and beat the preacher on the steps to a pulp. Um, and then another incident happened later, uh, probably like a few days later, or like a week or two after where a white woman was beaten to death. Mm. Um, and they found a pocket mirror of a guy named, of a kid named Ernest Knox. This is all alleged. Um, they forced him to confess and long story short again, they, um, they, <laughs> this is terrible, bro. <laughs> I, I don't even feel like repeating it, but do, it, do, it the, was, it do was, the PC version. So mm. this is the last thing I say about it, but mm. they forced him to confess. Um, he wasn't really given his just due, uh, and when it finally went to jury, it was um, all white people on the jury. Mm. Wow. And the night riders that I alluded to, about two thousand of them, um, hung him, uh, hung all five, so six people, um, six black kids, and you know made the town made a spectacle of it, and no one in the town. When the uh, National Guard came down, said that they saw anything, so they kept it hush hush. Hmm. And I just find it to be very, you know, oh, it's haunted. Like, I, I, oh, yeah, it's haunted. It's, it's definitely haunted. And then, oh, yeah. well, well, I'll say that these was two making things. sense. Yeah, I find it very, you know, interesting that whenever stuff is like brought up about this, there's always like a whistleblower alleging something. Always, um, especially to the black youth. Um, and then also, they flooded. So now this is. After 1957, um, you know, that's when everybody or leading up to 1957, I should say, um, the town saw that, 
you know, hydrolysis could be a thing to power the towns that were neighboring it. Yeah. And that's, you know, water power, using Absolutely. water power. Using water to yeah, um, irrigate things. So they flooded the town. Before they flooded the town, they gave the black people who owned homes there and owned land there pennies on a dollar. Um, and some of the deeds of the house mysteriously wound up in white people's hands that it didn't really belong to. They didn't buy it. Um, so the event, they eventually <sighs> flooded the town. Um, and the, they were also, you know, black graves in there. And before that, there were also um, um, uh, Native American graves in there. Uh, and then the government, U.S. government, bought the uh, lake or the town before they um, flooded the lake from the town members. So, like you were saying, Alex, it is definitely haunted. Yeah. And you oh, know, shit, I'm getting scared. <laughs> I'm never going to Georgia. <clears throat> Remember how we walked in? Reggie said she thought she saw a ghost. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna tell you off camera what happened. Yeah. So, so Reggie said she thought she thought she saw a ghost. I guess never mind. <laughs> and um, like you're saying, I, I really think that yeah. um, a lot of the stuff that happened leading up to that, right? Souls, there are souls yeah, in there that are not are. at rest. Absolutely, I agree. Damn. I even saw a, a scene of this in uh, Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, Charles Gambino. Yep, 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 yep. They oh. got they got at this on an episode. Yeah. And you know, they kind of make things a little bit funny <laughs> around it, right? Yeah. But let me tell you something, Pierre. Pierre, first and foremost, thank you for doing your research on that. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea what was going on. Me neither. I thought <laughs> niggas was just tripping. Yeah. Every time they went in there, they just slipped their foot. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something, man. Yo, stop playing with blacks, you heard? Yeah. <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> yo, stop playing with blacks. Okay? Yeah. We gonna come at you fifty years, a hundred years after, <laughs> All right, okay? Six. Like procrastination, you heard? <laughs> Wait, so stop playing who, with blacks, yo. Who is dying though? Is it that? And that's a great question. Is, is it a plethora of people? Though? Is it a plethora of black people? Yeah. Is it white people? So from what I've heard, yeah. And again, this is just a spark nose version. So yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think the majority has been Caucasian. The, the majority. Okay, okay, now yeah. it makes sense. Okay, okay. I Stop. thought yeah. for some reason in the beginning, I thought Alex had said something like yeah. it's only like black people who are dying there. I was like, so yeah. this doesn't make sense to me. But okay, now, and, I, now I was wrong. Sorry. And they've, I think they're. Oh, damn. Lake Lanier has, oh, it's, oh shit! It, it, <laughs> You're it's, realizing it in real time. It, it, like, oh. it's, it's deep. Lake Lanier is, is literally deep. Like they're, they're, They say it's uh, 50 miles north of Georgia's uh, Stone Mountain. Yeah. So if you buy Stone Mountain, leave. <laughs> I've been to Stone Mountain. Me like too. if you if you dive in, <laughs> really? into oh. the water, <laughs> I used to live in Atlanta. Like you could feel remnants. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, like, remember like seven months. Seven yeah, months. Yeah. Yeah. That's when you were doing like photos. Yeah, I was I was working for Queen Latifah's production company, yeah. Flavor Unit. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they were saying if you dive into the lake at different you just, various like, don't points, come out. Mm -hmm. that and like you oh, can still gateway. you can still feel like remnants of the town Were? at the at the bottom of the lake. Were this should turn into Stranger Things, bruh with like different portals and shit. Bro. I'm gonna tell y'all oh. again, yo. Stop playing with blacks. Only swimming I do or is in pools. <laughs> oh, oh, I, actually, I'm very scared yes. of like bodies of water too. I I'm agree. A, I'm a great swimmer, but I can't do like the yeah. ocean shit. Nah, I can't. I'm can't. cool. If, if if I can't see the bottom, <laughs> if get to no, I'm say it one more time. If I can't see the bottom, <laughs> mm -hmm. no, absolutely, absolutely. That's like my biggest fear. Like top one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, stop playing with blacks. I ain't gonna it's, keep telling y'all this crazy. shit, man. Damn. All right, we crazy like that. That was like a little story time. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> because I was like, it gotta be a reason why people yeah. keep. Over the years, over and over and over again, now I gotta be something to it, man. Yeah, it gotta yeah. be something to it. Ancestors, ancestors ain't really like rock with what happened. They ain't rock with that, and you'll never know. be able really to prove it unless you go out there. Right. That I'm. And I'll never be able to prove it. Then. There's a lot of history that's that's uh, hidden. Hidden. Yeah. Sometimes it gotta stay hidden. That's <laughs> the problem with us humans, though. We're too curious. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. No, I know. Because you, you a scientist, motherfucker. Go ahead, explain. You, see, let me tell you about you science <laughs> niggas. All right? You science. I got a man just like you. Y'all okay. niggas are science, science. Let okay. me tell you about you science niggas. Talk to me. Talk to us. Okay? Y'all feel as if everything needs to be explored. Everything needs to be tapped into. And I understand. Like, it's uh, probably maybe a little bit safer. How, how else will we know anything? And, and that'd be the problem. Yeah. The, the, the evil shit want us to do the deep dive. Okay. Nah. I have, that, and that's the problem. I have a limit. Like, I don't okay, watch. Okay, there's a limit. Okay, I don't okay. watch paranormal activity. Remember, I told okay, you the whole okay, reason okay, why okay. I don't really like Michael Jackson like that is because of Thriller. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm yes, not going to die. He don't like hill. Michael. But basically. <laughs> At least it's self inflicted this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He on camera this time. <laughs> like, man. 10 toes, I'll say. Nah, all right. But don't. And science. Use five. Toes, science please. studies what is mm. that's why a lot of things that are questioned 
I haven't don't really have answers and, because and, and so you science niggas. They y'all use words like that. <laughs> y'all use little, little deceptive words. It's science not, is what is. No, nah, it's what? it's it's a study of what is. <laughs> But what really is exactly? I uh, see. You see that, see? and it's time to go now. You see <laughs> right. that? Now listen, I, I really um enjoy talking to y'all today, man. Yeah, yeah I enjoy fun. this. Yeah, you guys are fun to talk to. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this as well. Uh, thank y'all for joining me. Of course, we got to do a drip track for Reggie next time. Next time we'll do a drip yeah, track for Reggie because she be throwing that shit on. Oh my god, no, we don't. Yeah. I really like those sneakers. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, we, see, we're shooting on a weekend today, so she decided to spice it up a little yeah, this bit. This is weekend Reg. Yeah, yeah, weekend Reg, weekend right? Reg. <laughs> Outside my office hours. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Y'all got any more, uh, more things to tell people before we close this out? Um, Reggie, I think you should really, uh, at some point, do a uh, like a horoscope thing. Mm. We should have people like call a what, me. like a segment. Yeah, mm. I would love like, to do that. Like, shit. like, like I'm guessing. Facts. Okay. Like not not a Miss Cleo mm-hmm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't do like guests mm-hmm. because I barely know them. So mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know. You or, would have to know like certain things about them, right? Yeah. To kind of mm-hmm. like have an educated guest. Or yeah. if they yeah. if they brought up uh like an issue that they're having. Right. And then like <clears throat> you ask them what's their sign. <laughs> and then maybe you could coach them. And, like break it down. To, yeah. Good hey. I'd be down. <laughs> Whatever you guys want. Hey, yeah. man, it's a Need to Know podcast. Right. You, you don't know what kind of content you might <laughs> run into. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us on another episode of We Have More Thoughts, yeah. exclusively on Need to Know Media. This is the gang and I. We yeah. out of here, man. Oh, I will say before we actually wrap. Go, Pete. If you guys want to see Reggie, Alex, and Savon, maybe me, and definitely Kieran also. Yeah. Um. If if you guys want to see us in a gym session or yeah. that whole gym thing we were talking about before, write in the yeah. comments and let us know. Yes. That would be fun. Yeah. Yes. Gang. Peace. Peace.